Support for Reality Capture is significantly enhanced in AutoCAD 2015 to provide better performance and more flexibility when working with point cloud files. You can now launch Autodesk Recap, which is included with the AutoCAD 2015 install, directly from the AutoCAD ribbon. With Autodesk Recap, you can index 3D scans and create and edit point cloud project files. Those point cloud project and scan files can then be attached to AutoCAD drawings. If both the drawing and the point cloud files include geographic location, you can use it to accurately insert the point cloud into the drawing. The options for entering insertion points, scale, and rotation are disabled because AutoCAD is relying on true geographic data to position the point cloud relative to drawing geometry. After attaching a point cloud file, you can select it to access the point cloud contextual ribbon, which includes several valuable updates. New colorization options have been added to help you visualize the point cloud in more ways. You can now visualize point cloud data based on elevation or classification, in addition to scan colors, object color, normal, and intensity, if the data exists in the point cloud. The former point cloud intensity color mapping dialog box is replaced with a new point cloud color map dialog to support these new visualization options. In it, you can select the appropriate tab to customize the colorization based on intensity, elevation, or classification. You can select from predefined color schemes or create and save your own. When colorizing the point cloud by elevation, you can specify the minimum and maximum elevation values and the interval height. Colorization is just one of the many enhancements to point cloud functionality in AutoCAD 2015. A new point cloud manager makes it easier than ever to work with multiple point clouds. The point cloud manager lists all the point cloud scans that are attached to the current drawing. If those point clouds include regions defined in Autodesk Recap, the regions are also listed in the point cloud manager. You can click on the icon to the right of each scan to turn it on or off and easily turn all of the scans on or off with the icon next to the scan's heading. Double click on a point cloud scan in the list to view the model from its scan position. You can use tools such as 3D walk, orbit, and steering wheels to navigate around the model from there. Similarly, you can turn regions on or off to more easily view specific areas of the point cloud. If you turn off unassigned points, you'll see only the points that are represented by regions. To focus on the woodshop, for example, you can turn off all the unassigned points and the regions you're not interested in. Previous point cloud clipping tools are replaced with more intuitive and flexible cropping tools. In AutoCAD 2015, the cropping boundary is always normal to the screen, so you can easily specify the cropping boundary from the most intuitive viewpoint. Choose from rectangular, polygonal, or circular boundary shapes. You can choose to display the inside or outside of the crop boundary. Regardless of which option you choose when creating the boundary, you can use the Invert tool to easily change it. After specifying an appropriate cropping boundary from one view, such as the top, you can change to another view, like the front, to intuitively specify the cropping boundary for the height. You can continue to change views and create cropping boundaries to focus on just the area of the point cloud that you need. The maximum points displayed on screen has increased in AutoCAD 2015 from 10 million to 25 million. The level of detail slider sets the density for all point clouds in the drawing and is relative to the maximum points specified in the options dialog box. Even with fewer points displayed, you can still see a nice representation of the drawing by increasing the point size. For example, if your point cloud file is sparse on points, you can increase the point size to visually fill in the gaps. New lighting tools on the visualization panel enable you to view point clouds with various lighting and shading effects. But point clouds in AutoCAD aren't just for looking at. AutoCAD 2015 offers new point cloud object snaps that make it easier than ever to snap to point cloud geometry so that you can expand on the existing design for retrofits and renovations. New point cloud object snaps are accessible from the 3D object snap tab of the drafting settings dialog box. For easier access to point cloud object snaps, you can customize the status bar to display the 3D object snap tool. AutoCAD can detect a set of planar point cloud points, enabling you to align the UCS to them. 
You can insert blocks or draw new AutoCAD geometry by snapping to point cloud nodes or planes. In this example, I used the point cloud to insert and create 3D geometry, but the value of point clouds isn't limited to 3D. For example, using the cropping tool, you can create a thin slice of the point cloud that represents a 2D elevation or plan of the existing walls. Then, using AutoCAD's annotation and drawing tools, you can create accurate dimensions and geometry by snapping to points in the point cloud, helping get your new design off to a quick start.